Hi guys, bonjour, bonsoir, welcome to video number two of No Break November. This is a repair video. Stay tuned if you want to see how I did this repair. All right, let's hop right into it. So this is my client's hair. She has a lot of breakage. I posted this on my stories, on um, my platforms, and I got a lot of questions about how did this happen? What made this happen? So we're gonna talk about how this happened. So she got lock extensions a little over a year ago. She had about three maintenance appointments since the initial install. Her hair did very well. However, there came a time where I got really, really busy and could not take appointments anymore. And the area that she lived in, because she travels really far to come to me, but the area she lived in did not have lock locticians or anyone who, who did locks like that. So she pretty much went a very long time without maintenance, but she did wash her hair um, frequently or regularly, which helped a lot when it comes to her new growth without maintenance she still washed her hair which is great that's where all of this new growth is come, coming from that i can work with so let's hop into the repair itself so here is an area where the lock extension and it's not even the lock extension her hair itself dried and just broke off because of the damage or the breakage from dryness it just broke off I'm going to show you guys late, the lock later on, but here the hair is so short that I'm going to have to add some Afro Bolt Kinky hair to it to help me give it some length so I can properly attach the extensions back. Now, as you guys can see, where her hair ends and where the, the extension starts based on the color, her hair has grown tremendously since her install. However, she's had breakage from not having consistent maintenance, regular on-time maintenance. So that's where most of her breakage come from. And she lives in a very um, dry climate area and that contributed a lot to this as well. So in the stories, um, I said how to prevent this is pretty much a daily moisture routine. If you, leave, if you live somewhere that's dry like Arizona, you need a daily moisture routine that you can do daily because it's extreme dryness so now that i've attached or i've added the hair this is the same way i would do same day extensions i would just keep going until um it's to the length that my client wants but here i'm just adding some length to it and boom there you go got some length so i'm going to use my afro bolt kinky hair in the color 1b you can find this in my etsy shop I'm going to use also my Daxlene Locks crochet needle, triple needle, in the 0.5 size. You can use 7.5 or 0.5. It doesn't matter. Whatever is comfortable for you. You can find this in my Etsy shop as well. Link in the, is in the description. So this is one of her extensions that just popped off from being so dry and her hair breaking off around it. As you can see, her natural hair is still in there. So it really broke off from her hair. Um, not the extension itself. So this has nothing to do with the attachment itself. It has to do with the breakage. So here I am combing out the extension and I'm going to attach it. I believe she only had two of them that did this. The rest of them I'll show you all later on is just literally hair breaking away from the lock. And as you guys seen in my previous videos with natural lock repair, this happens with natural locks as well. Getting lock extensions is just that, getting lock extensions. You still have to really take care of your hair. You can't get lock extensions and not let it go. This is not what this client did. She really was in, a, in an area where she could not find anyone to help her with her hair and maintain her hair for her. Um, but in most cases where I get the natural lock repairs is when um, there's not much maintenance or there's dryness. It's a combination of things usually when, when there's so much breakage going on. And this is usually how I would repair natural locks as well. So her locks really blended into her hair very well. Our only issue here is the breakage. So here I've just attached the extension back to her hair and that is it. As you guys know, it is really tough 
to really explain what I'm doing here to show you everything the needle is doing, to show you how much pressure to put on that hair, to make sure everything is attached, it's really tough to show that in a video. So I plan on teaching classes because um, I've been getting a lot of requests to do classes. I'm going to do online where I really, really get really detailed for the people that can't travel to me. And I'm going to do in person as well, um, anticipating really getting a, a consistent schedule going by 2022. I'm going to have everything because anything I do, I really want to do it well. That's including giving classes. I don't just want to have people come. I want to actually have it together to where you get something from coming to these classes that I will be hosting and the classes that I'll be having online for you to access at your leisure. So here's another example of a repair. This is literally her hair breaking away from the lock. You can see where her hair grew out. You can see where her hair... Uh, is growing out and it's meshed into the extension, but this is new growth hair from hair that broke off at her roots. So first thing I do is I part around it and I make sure I get a nice even base and then I take that hair, that loose hair, I twist it up like I'm doing a retwist but not really, and then I crochet that loose hair in there. Now she has a pretty much a gap because the hair is very thin because the hair that's locking is not the original amount of hair that was supposed to be in that lock. It's way less. So we're going to make up for that by adding the Afro bulk hair. And this hair is one in the color 1B. It can be dyed. As you can see, her accent locks that are blonde. That is that hair dyed. And I will be dyeing her new growth and roots once we are done with the repair. So as you see here, I'm just adding the afro bulk hair and I'm crocheting away once again it's tough to really explain there's a lot of things going on but once you learn when I'm teaching this method to people or any type of crocheting to people I always tell them you know I can give you the fundamentals of what I'm doing however when it comes to something that is this tedious and this repetitive you have to find your rhythm you have to put your own sauce on it and that's when you'll really know what you're doing. You'll really get a feel for it. Things like this, you have to be very intentional. You have to really get a feel for it. Um, if you're not intentional, you're going to poke yourself or you're going to knot up the client's hair and not really give a smooth finish when it comes to crocheting and adding hair to locks that have already formed, especially. You have to be very intentional because you have to really stick that those needles in there. Um, I actually go come back and I clean her locks up with a single needle in the size 7.5 because not 7.5 0.75 I clean the frizz up with the 0.75 because that, that needle is big enough to grab all that hair so this is just me setting her hair up and everything's pretty much tightened but I'm gonna come back and clean it up so this is what we're looking like right now everything's looking so good already and from the beginning you you would think hey she just needs to cut these off no the the hair that broke off just needs to be crocheted back in so Monica is one of the stylists at the shop and she's helping me, she's assisting me by putting the hair in for me and I'm going to go after her and tighten it. So this makes me work a little bit faster. And we're pretty much we're at the top of her head now and once we get to the top we have a little less breakage. What we have really is just hair that's hanging out of the lock. It's not as much breakage as it was in the back to where it locks hair pretty much broke off up here it's just hair that's out frizz and we're just pulling that frizz in using the crochet needles once again these needles are available in my etsy shop if you all would like to purchase your own needle to practice or use on your own clients or yourself if you're comfortable with um learning to use them We are almost done here. The top was pretty much a breeze. The top was just putting frizz in like you see here. There was no hair needed, needing to be added right there. Just pulling her frizz in and that's that. Same thing here. Here was a little bit thinner as you can see. So I added hair to that to give her a more um, even sizing of her lock 
meaning the lock extension her natural hair meaning lock extension so this is it right here i believe she had a total of 60 somewhere around 60 locks um and she has very thick hair so that size was perfect for her i love the size i love the length her hair has grown so much regardless of the breakage i'm glad that she kept washing her hair kept her scalp clean i love doing her hair because her scalp is always super clean because she washes her hair and that really helped her hair to grow the new growth although she had breakage new growth was still there and like i said in my previous videos i always wash after either extensions or repairs or any type of crocheting just to go back and double check my work not only is it ethical and should be standard practice to wash your client's hair unless they ask you to do otherwise it's standard practice but it to me it's my moment to really check my work to make sure my crocheting was um as secure as i wanted it to be so i washed her hair as normal I wasn't gentle. I mean, well, I'm I'm not rough, but I, what I mean by that is I wash it as normal so I can get a feel for what's going on with these locks. Um, is the hair that I crocheted back in in there? So this is one of my products. It is my Moringa Deep Cleansing Shampoo. You can find it on my Etsy shop. Link in the description. It is one of my uh, new hair products that I am providing and making available Um worked on it for quite a while before I decided to launch it. I have a lot more products coming. These are just the beginning ones that I'm introducing to you guys. Now this shampoo brush right here, you can also find in my Etsy shop. It feels amazing. I've had some comments that it looks like it hurts, but I've never had a client complain. I always ask my clients, you know, is it okay? Does it feel good? If it doesn't feel good, I can stop. They always say it feels good. Some of them fall asleep. And for me, I don't like things touching my scalp like that. And it felt amazing to me the first time I used it. And I just had to make it available for anybody who wants one to buy one because it felt so great. And I'm not even one of those people that likes my head being rubbed or scratched or anything like that. And this doesn't even really scratch because the bristles are very soft silicone. So it's not even a scratch. It's more like a massage or a rub, but there are bristles but they're made out of soft silicone, so it does not hurt. But as I said, I've made sure I thoroughly wash her hair, made sure her scalp was clean, and I wasn't gentle because there are they are extensions or because I just did a repair. And I also lightened her roots and colored um, those accent locks. I did that off camera, I believe. But yeah, that's it. I washed her hair, rinsed it off really good, especially when you color shampoo thicker locks you have to rinse very very thoroughly so there's nothing left in the client's hair and um they don't get any chemical damage afterwards so here we're done washing so like i said i checked my work this is the one of the locks i i, I reattached i believe so here we are everything still looks really good at this point if everything did not look really good and there were weak points or loose locks I would go ahead and repair them again while they were wet but her hair did really good and her repair wasn't really a, a tough one honestly it looks like oh my goodness but it wasn't a tough one um, it was very easy to repair her hair very easy to see what what it what to do so we went ahead and gave her the style she had last time I saw her which was a two strand twist and it came out beautiful after we did that, sat under the dryer, of course. And as you guys can see, her accent locks look really nice. Her scalp is really clean. Those locks are nice and even and congruent. I love the size of her locks. And after this, we put it up in a half up, half down style, which is the same style she had last time she saw me. She really liked it. So we did the same thing again. And... I am back to taking appointments, very limited at the time. Hopefully in 2022, I will be back um, with way more availability to take appointments. So my beautiful client here will be keeping up with her maintenance and she'll be coming back to me. So um, in the meantime, I've given her um, some suggestions of people to go to if she cannot make it back to me because she does live very far and I truly appreciate her for traveling to me every time to come and get her hair done. It means a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching. 
as I said, it looks like a lot, but her hair was really easy to do. She's a very lovely client. I love her spirit and her energy. Really love doing her hair every time. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Go to the description box for any questions you may have, anything I use is in there. All my products you can find in my Etsy shop. That link is there to book me. The booking link is there. Everything is there. Check out the description box if you have any questions or leave them in the comments. I'll try my best to answer you. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.